Hello everybody, thank you for coming on to my live video. This is Robert Harley and I am so glad and excited that you're here today. I have another excited topic for us to talk about today and I can't wait to get into it. This is the Excel Your Life show and um, tonight we're going to talk about you be the one. You be the one. You be the one. Um, you know, in life, we go through, you know, as we go through our lives, we go through different stages of, the, of our lives. We experience different things in our lives. Um, and we sometimes, as you go older, you know, to adult, people have a tendency as they grow older, you know, I'm in my mid, I'm, I'm what they consider now, in my, at my age, people, yeah, um, you'll be, I'll be considered be in mid midlife, right? You know, there's, you know, young midlife, and then there's also probably a midlife, mid in the middle midlife right now. So, but when people get to about my age, and in the, in the forties and fifties, and even to the sixties, people tend to give up on their goals and their dreams. They they kind of even in the thirties, they kind of give up on on the goals and dreams. They give up on on um, what's possible for them. They give up on on um. That those childhood, those child childhood dreams that they had, you know, when they were kids, people ask them, "Oh, what do you like to be when you grow up?" And you know, and they say something. And very few people ever grow up and become who they say they want to be when they grow up. A lot of time, people by the time they hit their thirties and forties and fifties, they have already given up and go on, on, on their goals and the dreams that they had when they were a child. They have already settled. They are already you know, make themselves comfortable in the comfort zone. Um, and they don't, they don't see the reason why I don't see, or they don't, they don't even see themselves as um, achieving that goal that they have that once had when they were younger. You know, when they were younger, they, have, they were full of vibrance and life and vitality, and they just, you know, gung ho in life, going, you know, going full, full throttle. But as they grow older, they're, they're married. They, you know, they they um, have a family, have a mortgage, have a car payment. You know, everything, and then things just get get you just get trapped into a, a mundane survival mode. Mundane survival mode. You just live. You just work to live and live to work. You know, you just live to just pay bills and stuff like that. But tonight, I want to challenge challenge you that kind of thinking and that kind of mentality and that kind of lifestyle. People who have just seemed to be just bogged down, are trapped in the mundane, living to work or working to live type of mentality, type of lifestyle, where you just day in and day out, you just going to work, you come back, and you pretty much don't do much and have anything after that. But so tonight's topic, I want to challenge challenge you. I want to challenge you. I said, you be the one. You be the one to rise up and take a stand. You be the one. You be the one to say, no, not me. I'm not going to settle where I am. I'm not going to, you know, give in to this chapter of this mentality of, of, of the mundane chapter of this living to work and working to live. You know, there's more to life than that. There's more to life than meets the eye. There's goals and dreams that I had that I just put them on the back shelf or put them on the back burner because you know you, I, you, you as I said before you, you you grow up you go to college university you get a career you get married you buy a house you know and you just settle you just settle you just you just develop this comfort zone mentality where you're just comfortable you know you think you think everything is going smooth and everything but that's a very dangerous place to live in a comfort zone because you don't realize you don't realize that you you're there it's and I, I don't anyways you don't realize what's the potential that you have you know there's a little area that I want to go into talk, talking about that but I kind of said no I'm not gonna go there so <laughs> that's why I kind of have that pause there for a moment I kind of stop myself from going into going in a direction that I didn't want to go to. Anyways, um, so you, you, um, oh, I missed my train of thought there. 
Anyway, so you, you, you the comfort zone is very de- de- a dangerous place to be. You, you don't want to be trapped in that. You don't want to be in. You don't want to be so so settled down in your um in your comfort zone. So tonight's challenge. Tonight I'm challenging everybody, everybody, anybody, anybody, everybody. Come out of your comfort zone. Dust off those dreams and goals that you once had. You know, you know, when you were a child, people ask you, "Oh, what do you want to be? Or what do you, what do you want to do when you grow up?" And then you put those goals and dreams on the, on the back burner. You kind of give up on those kind of things. I'm challenging you right now. Go back and look, to review those dreams. Go back and review those childhood desires that you had. You know, go back and review those things that you want. You really wanted to be when you grow up. You know, maybe you're totally not living the life that you thought you would be living when you when you were younger. You know, you never thought your life would turn out the way it turned out. You know, <laughs> and and so I'm saying, make a change. You know, we got to make changes in our lives. We got to take. You know, I was talking to someone earlier today about about changes. You know, um, and I'm, I'm sharing with you some of the radical changes that I've just made recently in my life, just to make changes in my life. Even doing these live videos on a daily basis, those are, this is something that I've, one of the radical changes that I've done in my life to do these daily daily videos. And I've made other changes too in my life. Do, done, I've, done, I've done other things in my life changes in my life that are radical changes but um, I, I see the need to do those kind of changes because I want to get different results at the end of the day at the end of the day it comes down to the results the results that you get in and you 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 uh, you will never get a different result if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again so if you want different results, you got to do something differently. You got to be the one. You got to be the one to shake off the shackles of of mediocrity. You got to be the one to break to 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 break free of the burden and the of the of the yoke of of average of the average lifestyle of the, of the comfort zone. You got to be the one. You know, um, the sto- I'm sure you. A lot of people heard the story. How do you train an, an elephant? How do you train an elephant um, when he was uh, t- to stay put by the put a, 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 um, a chain on his on his leg and just put in the chain and the stake in the ground? It started when the elephant was a young baby. When he was a young elephant, you put it put you put the elephant. You know, you put a, a, a train on the elephant and put try to tie the train to a wall. And the elephant, when he was a young elephant, no matter how much he tried to break free from the train, he will never break free until one day, who until one day, in something inside of him will break and he will just give up. He will just give up trying to break free from that train. And then, then after that, he can just put even just a little piece of rope. On his um, on his on his foot, and put a stake into the ground, and the elephant will never, never try to break free from that. Why? Because inside, in mentally, it's something being broken inside of him that makes him think that he cannot be break free from a little piece of rope that he can easily break, or a piece of stake that he can easily pull out of the ground. But because something inside of him broke. He, can, he will never attempt to break free from that, even though physically and strength-wise he can easily have done that. But inwardly, inwardly, he he don't think he can do it. And sometimes that's how we are in life. Sometimes by the time we come to our forties and fifties and even into our sixties, you know, we we all we already train like elephant. We all train in to just going to work, live, you know, going to work, punching the clock, you know, doing doing the traffic thing, you know, we're trained and we're, we're, we're programmed to think that way. That's how we, that's how life is. That's how we have to live our lives. We're going to work day in and day out. You know, we're like elephant driving in our little car, going to work, you know, <laughs> going back home in traffic, 
frustrated, angry, you know, not totally fulfilled and satisfied. And sometimes our life don't even turn out the way we thought we do thought it would turn out by the time we could get to our 40s and 50s. You know, sometimes the life didn't turn out the way we thought it would when we were kids. So I'm challenging you, you be the one. You be the one to rise up, to take a stand. You be the one to say, no, I'm not going to settle for this. I'm not going to be satisfied with this. I'm going to rise up and do something different. I'm going to rise up and look for new opportunities. I'm going to rise up and break the, break free from the shackles and from, from the burden of mediocrity and average and... <clears throat> So media, mediocrity and average and living in a comfort zone. You know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna make radical changes in my life, whether your finances finances is concerned, or your health is concerned, where where your relationship is concerned, where your um your spirituality is concerned, where your career or your business is concerned. You, you gotta make different radical changes in your life again at the end of the day what kind of results do you want sometimes we we, we settle for things in our lives that diff the results that we're getting in our lives that we're not happy with you know again i remind me remind me reminded of the dog again another story of the dog that was um sitting on the nail whining and crying and, and but all the whole time sitting on, on the nail that was poking out into in the floor from a the floor that he was lying down you know the man the man said the dog was too lazy to get up from off the nail the, the nail wasn't hurting him enough it was hurting him enough for him to complain about it but not enough for him to get up and, and go lie down somewhere else and sometimes that's how we are we complain about our lives we complain about how things are going in our lives that we don't like but we're not we don't we're not discomfort enough to for us to do something about it, to get up and do something about it. So I'm, be, I'm challenging you today. You be the one to get up off that nail. You be the one of, of that elephant that you can, that, um, that, like that elephant who can just break free from the, that shackle that holds that hold you bound inwardly. You be the one to rise up and make a difference in your life and in your world. In, in, and to get change your circumstances and your situation so you can get different results. You be the one. You be the one. I want to I want to end this with uh, 12 minutes. Oh, that's not too bad. That's good, actually. I oh, didn't want this to be too much of a long video like in like I normally do. So but I'm gonna end it like I'm gonna end it with my challenge to you. Remember this new challenge that I want to end all my videos like is this my challenge to you is this let others leave let sorry I'll start over again let others lead small lives but not you let others argue over small hurts but not you let others cry over small sorry let others let others leave their leave their lives leave their future in someone else's hands but not you let others settle where they are, but not you. Let others live a life of mediocrity, but not you. Let others stay in their comfort zones, but not you. Let others live their lives in fear of the unknown, but not you. Let others, let fear of failure or fear of success holds them back, but not you. Let others be content to add to the wealth of the graveyard, but not you. Let <clears throat> you be the one to make change. You be the one to rise up. You be the one to take a stand. You be the one to make changes in your lives. And, and you be the one to go after your goals and your dreams. You be the one. You. You know, when I said one one of the comment that I said in here, you let others be content to add to the wealth of the graveyard, but not you. What I meant, remember when I, I'll say this. Uh, what I meant by that is a story by told by um this man, by his name was Miles Monroe. He's long passed away now, a few years ago. A dynamic preacher, dynamic motivational speaker, and also he was a pastor of a church. He actually, he's actually from um, the Bahamas, 
um, but he tragically passed away a few years ago. But Miles Monroe, he, he was the one who came up with this. He said, you know, the richest places on planet Earth are not the, the oil fields of, of South, Saudi Arabia, are not the oil fields of the world, or the gold and silver mines of South Africa, or wherever gold and silver mine uh, are. The, the, the richest places on planet Earth is not Wall Street, or the New York Stock Exchange, or the Toronto Stock Exchange, or wherever the stock the stock market. The wealthiest places on, on planet Earth is not the high-rise building and the in the downtown city or whatever city area that you, you may be living the wealthiest places on earth is is in is in every city every, every every small town every country you know what the wealthiest places on this planet earth is the wealthiest places on planet earth is the graveyard the graveyard the burial ground you know why that is the wealthiest places on this planet earth is because buried in the graveyard are dreams that was never fulfilled, books that were never written, invention that was never invented, businesses that never got started, uh, songs and songs that never got sang, movies and, 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 and plays that was never written and acted out. You know, in the graveyard are people who died, who, who leaders who die as followers, world changers and world shakers who die as nobody. In the graveyard are buried, are buried wealth of information, a wealth of experiences that could have be beneficial to the rest of the world, but instead it was un was untapped and unused. In the graveyard are buried untapped potential. You know what we talked about the potential before? Untapped potential. People go to the graveyard full of potential, full of possibilities, full of dreams and goals and vision that was never became reality. Let us, my challenge to you and my challenge to myself, let us not add to the wealth of the graveyard. Let us not be content to add to the wealth of the graveyard. Let by the time we go to the graveyard that we have fulfilled all that we can possibly be and become and do and reach all the goals and all the dreams that of our heart and, and our desires have been kept and met and fulfilled let the graveyard get from us a just an empty carcass let us not go to the graveyard with full of potential untapped potential untapped energy untapped unused unused knowledge unused um unused potential unused let us let us not go to the graveyard with books that were never written let us not go to to the graveyard businesses that was never started let us not go to the graveyard with knowledge but built um what's the word i'm looking for um built up knowledge you know inside of us you know chop knowledge inside of us that could make a difference in this world let us not take to the graveyard things that could be a world changing thing for the worst rest of the world let us take to the graveyard just an empty carcass that's all the graveyard we get from us let us be let us let us let us let us be all that we can be let you it's you you be the one i it's me i'm the one who make a difference in this world to make a difference in my life and in your life you and i are the one that can do it no one else is no one else is there but you and i are the one they rise up and take a stand and make changes in our lives so that when by the time we go to the graveyard we are empty because we have we've fulfill all our goals and our dreams we have used up all of our potential you know i don't want to get into what potential is again because i spent so much time on that but you are full of potential i am full of potential let us be all that we can be let us do all we can do 
Let us go as far as we can go. Let us go as high as we can go. Let us become, become all that we can become. You know, <clears throat> let us do, be, let us be, do, and have, and experience all that is possible for us. So I'm going to end it there for, the, for now. <laughs> wow. Anyways, I hope you guys got something out of this. I almost didn't want to stop. I could have I kept going, but um, <laughs> oh, praise God. Um, I really hope you guys got something out of this. I mean, I got something out of this. I'm, I'm stirred up. I want to keep going, but for time's sake, I don't want to, I'll, I'll stop right now. But I, I, I'm glad you guys come and um, come on my live and watch my live with me. Uh, thank you. Let me say a shout out to some Vicky. Thank you, Mustafa. Thank you, um, Iman, you know, uh, Joe Bond, oh, Jerry. Thanks for watching. <laughs> um, uh, if you ever mispronounce your name in anywhere, um, in any way, sorry, my apologies for mispronouncing your name. But anyways, this is with this is um, this is. This is Robert Hart. I'm going to cut it off for you for now. Thank you for joining my live. Again, I'm going to make a quick announcement. If you're in my local area, I live in Vancouver, Canada. If you're living in this local area that I am, that I am the greater Vancouver area, I am having my first ever two-hour seminar coming up on March 14th. March 14th, that's a Wednesday, and it's from 1 to 3 p.m. It's going to be a free event. I'm not charging any, anyone to, for coming because I don't want money to be a hindrance of anyone coming. It's in my first ever um, live Excel Your Life, Excel Your Life seminar coming up on March 14th. I'm, ex, I'm inviting everybody in this, my local area to come out and support me, come out and uh, just be there and feel so I can feel your love and your presence. Um, just come out. Um, it's uh, it's going to be at the Surrey Central Library, the Surrey Central Library, right be right beside the Surrey Central Sky Chain Station, um, and it's also it's going to be in room four o one, the room four o one in the library. So please come out if you live in my local area, come and support support me. I need your support, and I, we I'd be greatly greatly appreciated. It's only for two hours, and it's free. So if you have the time off from work, um, I greatly appreciate if you can come out and support me. Also, just an update on my book. The book is finished. I'm just looking for, currently, actively looking for a publisher to publish the book. So I'll give it, keep you guys updated on that, on that also. Anyways, um, please like these videos. Please share these videos. And please leave a comment on these videos. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.